Hey guys! In last week's video I finished up by showing you this tiny painting snippet of one of my squirrel illustrations coming to life. I thought it would be nice to pick up where we left off and show you the finished painting along with the full page of squirrels that are now complete. These are going to form part of a new collection for my upcoming autumn launch which will be live from the 23rd of September. So today I thought I would take you with me as I begin turning these paintings into designs for my new products. Here's how the page of squirrels turned out, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Now let's get on with designing some new greetings cards, bookmarks and mugs for the new collection. For any new collections I design, there's quite a lot of thought that goes into it before I start painting anything. For this squirrel collection I had the main theme already picked out as well as the colour scheme and most of the element ideas. This makes my painting process quicker as I have an idea of what's needed and I don't waste time painting things that aren't necessary or won't fit in. The design I'm making here will be turned into art prints and greeting cards and I'll also use this as a base for creating a matching repeat squirrel pattern. I've previously made a full video about my design process and how I turn my artwork into cards. It goes into more detail of what I'm doing here and explains how I got to this stage of digital work using my traditional art. I'll pop a card at the top of the screen if you'd like to bookmark that video to watch later. Now that this design is complete and I'm happy with how it's turned out, I can go about placing it on the product templates I have. This is what a new card will look like, and here's the repeating pattern I made to match. As soon as I finished the new autumn patterns, I went ahead and ordered wrapping paper. I have this professionally printed for me, so I needed to make sure that I had enough time for it to arrive before the launch. I also needed to restock some of my other designs, so I went ahead and ordered them all together. Keep watching to see if the new paper designs arrive in time. Another of the autumn designs I'm working on is this new owl collection. It's already gone from painting, to pattern and now to product. Here's a time lapse of me designing the new owl bookmark that will form part of the autumn launch. Here's the finished design that will be on the front of the bookmark and the owl repeating pattern will be on the back. Now it's time to do some test prints of the new greetings cards and to see what they look like all together. Another product that I have manufactured for me is my stationery pads. I like having these professionally printed and bound so they are the best quality possible, but this also means I have to order in advance. I'm a little further behind in this than I had hoped, so let's get these new designs made today so I can get them sent off for printing. Hey guys, so just as I was hoping, today the new wrapping paper and my restock of wrapping paper has just arrived. I'm going to have a wee look now. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I always get a bit nervous when there's a new design. I'm never really sure how the colours and things are going to work out. I have had one disaster, I'm not going to lie, I've had one disaster before with um, my old Christmas range and one of the colours was just so off, it was awful. <laughs> um, but the company did fix it, they, they did fix it for me. But 
I'm pushing it a little bit fine with this launch. I don't have very much time left, so I'm a little bit worried that these aren't right because it would then uh, push over the time that I was hoping for. But anyway, we're going to have a look at those today. I'm going to show you how they've turned out, and uh, yeah, let's go and have a look. I can see one of the new designs already. <laughs> it's exciting. It's right on the top. It's lovely. Ooh! Let's get that down there so you can see. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're lovely. This is the new owl design. I'll let you see it. I love this wrapping paper. It's such a lovely. Um, weight and texture, like the paper's really lovely, it's a nice thick one. This one's been a little bit ripped, that'll be mine, that's okay, it won't go to waste. Um, in the bottom corner of all of them I have my um, little butterfly and toadstool name, I don't know if you'll be able to see that actually on here, it might not focus. But um, Oh, I really like that, I really like how the colours have turned out with that, it's a nice sort of deep bluish grey, the background, and with the browns and the green that looks really pretty. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that, I'm really happy with how that one's turned out. Phew! Okay, that's one down, one to go, and I'm really excited actually. This first box that I've opened has got both of the new designs in it, so it's very exciting. Let's lift these out. Oh, and I really, really like this one as well. I can tell already. I love it. Oh, I love that. I was really worried. This one I was worried about actually. That's the new squirrel pattern design. Get the gloss shine off the window there. Yeah, I was really a bit nervous about this one because the colour that I chose for the backing is a beautiful deep green, it's like a forest green, but it's in the red spectrum of green, if that makes any sense to anybody. It's on the red scale. And I was a little bit worried that it might come out a bit brown looking, I think, um, just because obviously the brown tones and the auburn tones of the squirrel, I wasn't sure if it would sort of merge together a little bit and be too, too brown, but it's not. It looks really green on that, I really like that. Oh, I'm really happy with these. <laughs> I'm so chuffed, that's lovely. Yay! New wrapping paper! So I hope you like these two. Do you like these two, babe? What does Bert think? Does Bert like them? Do you like these? Oh, good. Oh, good, Mum. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> so I'm super pleased with how these have turned out. I'm really, really happy with them. Like I said, it's always a bit nerve wracking when you order something new, and especially when it's different colours and not your printer. You can't do tests on it. I just had to send these away. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. They're exactly the colours that I was hoping for, so I'm really chuffed with that. Um, these are just going to be part of the autumn collection, obviously. I'm hoping to maybe have another third design added in as well. Um, and then we'll also have, and I'm sorry if I say this too early for some people, but we will have some Christmas designs. I'm just putting it out there. Um, I'm not going to show you any of those at the moment, but they are underway. I've done cards and I've so far done one pat uh, two patterns, sorry. So far I've done two patterns and the greetings card. So I just need to finish off my third um, pattern. Uh, in the Christmas designs and they'll get sent away and they will be here for the autumn launch as well or they'll be at least listed for the autumn launch and just in case there's any super early birds out there <laughs> that are wanting any Christmas things I just want to let you know that I have done those as well this year but yeah I'm really pleased with these uh, new autumn designs they look really nice and they're really nice to go with the cards and the art prints and things that I've got as well and hopefully the stationery pads will come too and they'll be really nice as well you've seen me just as, um, designing those now I have not sent those off <laughs> and we are getting pushing it a little bit late for time <laughs> um, especially with that company is a bit slow just with the book binding and stuff as well obviously it's a longer process but yeah we'll see we'll see if we can push it through and get it there on time but they will still be listed in the shop so yeah I'm like I just want to show you these I'm really happy that they've come I'm now going to go and put them away find some space for them in my wrapping paper wall behind me and we'll get back to designing some more of the Christmas and hopefully some more autumn things too this sweet little brock has started developing in my sketchbook too do you think I'll manage to get a whole new badger collection added to the autumn launch as well? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and we'll see who's right in a few weeks time. So thank you so much for spending your time with me today, I really appreciate it. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I would like to give a massive shout out to all of the subscribers that I've had so far. This week I reached a milestone for me, obviously I'm very new to YouTube, but I've hit 100 subscribers already and I'm so so grateful to each and every one of you. So thank you so much for being here, for subscribing to my channel. Always leave comments and things if there's any types of videos that you want to see from me in the future. I'll take those on board and I will definitely get around to those when I can. 
Um, I also like hearing from you how you like my new designs and how if you're excited about the new launch that's coming. I've got all my details in the description below that link to my website where you can sign up to my newsletter and it also has all my other links to my Etsy shop and my Instagram and all that jazz. So please check those out. I really appreciate it. And thanks so much for sticking around with me today. Thanks guys. Bye. Thank you.